Hey guys, this is Eric from Just Cool Enough. Uh, yesterday I put up the walkthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it, for The Syndicate, uh, which is the demo that just hit the Xbox Live, and I, I enjoyed doing that a lot, so I thought I would do it again. But uh, because Syndicate is a first-person shooter cyberpunk near-future game, I thought I would do something different uh, with this one. This time I'm doing Blacklight Retribution, which is a first-person multiplayer near-future cyberpunk game. Uh, so, uh, if you if you hadn't been aware, uh, Blacklight Retribution is a free-to-play MMO currently in closed beta, but uh, I imagine sometime soon it'll probably come out. Uh, so you gotta get yourself an invite. I got myself an invite, and I've been playing it for a while. Uh, but yeah, it's it's first-person shooter, cyberpunky, all that stuff. But because it is obviously free-to-play, uh, Anyone can pick it up, doesn't cost nothing, uh, and you actually buy weapons and whatnot. You actually have this little marketplace here. We can uh, buy all kinds of stuff. They, they have weapons as well as like perks as well. Like uh, if I wanted to change myself to a sexy lady, I could. Or if I wanted to go with more pistols, like I could buy this pistol. Interesting thing is you have two types of currency. You have GP, which you earn uh, by playing the game, doing stuff, and Zen, which is uh, points that you buy. Uh, though it started you off with uh, 5,000. I don't know if that's just because of the beta or whatnot, but 5,000 Zen, uh, a lot of money to, to get tricked out. I've, I've spent a bit of money on myself. Uh, so yeah, they got a lot of categories of stuff that you can kind of go through. You can find the kind of stuff uh, interesting enough, because uh, they have the, the weapons. Uh, but it's it's more than and just that you can customize stuff. So let's go into customization see what we can do uh, We'll start off with weapons. Why not? So uh, this is let's go with Standard rifle right here is what everyone starts with it doesn't cost anything and then you can actually uh, upgrade it uh, to your Whatever you want. So we start here with the rifle and you can change the muzzle uh, and then if you want like this muzzle or that muzzle that we'll stick with uh, this one because it's hard to see but uh, like a barrel like you wanted a different barrel they got a bunch of different ones they add some stuff you know this one extends it so you get a little more accuracy that kind of stuff this is the starter one uh, and if you wanted the, let's say this barrel uh, well, I already own that barrel uh, but if if you wanted to buy maybe this barrel let's say you like the 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 shorter barrel you hit uh purchase and you can purchase it and now you can use your gp with gp you can unlock it for days like one day 150 gp that's you get that in about a match you know or you can go for a whole week and that's a thousand gp if you really like that uh, it's nice or you can permanently unlock it that has a lot of gp so Obviously, it's nice, so you don't have to. You can stick with something. You don't have to waste all your money on it. But if you want it permanently, but you don't want to spend, you know, grind out the uh, fifteen thousand GP. That's going to take a while to get. You use Zen, considerably less points, but Zen uses real money. See, uh, two hundred and fifty Zen points. I could permanently unlock that. Uh, I myself have already kind of messed around with this and built some weapons uh, my own. I, I bought this guy. Pretty standard uh, SMG. And I took this, which was a rifle. It was this. It was a preset rifle. I believe it was this one. But I swapped some stuff around so that it became that. I changed the the butt stock and the sights and stuff. Uh, and you know, some of these are, are permanent the stuff I've bought. Some of them are are just st stuff that uh, is uh, a day. I think like the the barrel I, I lose tomorrow. But it's interesting. You can kind of customize your, your weapons and stuff. You can also customize your, your loadout, uh, obviously armor and stuff. Uh, standard helmet, but they got different helmets. So I stuck with the standard one. But uh, I, I went with, uh, with a different chest piece. Uh, it's, it's a little bit lighter. Actually, I think it's the same, but uh, yeah. And so I thought that was it. You can customize your boots. Uh, as well as your camo. Uh, I, I bought a camo, but there's a bunch of different ones. This is just very cosmetic, but it's 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 fun to mess around with. You also get little item gears that you can carry around, like uh, that cost things, like if I wanted to defibrillate. Of course, a lot of these have a level restricts on them. Uh, so, so, But right now, I just have a grenade and a knife, uh, as well as the deployment stuff, which is this is, uh, you'll see in the game. Uh, as you kill stuff you get points in game cp which you use to buy things like uh you can refill your health refill your ammo uh by the sweet flamethrower uh the rocket launcher or uh the mech and these are all customizable as well like you get stuff as you get uh, progress you get more stuff like uh different weapons cooler weapons uh you get the turret once you get up to level 16 so there's a lot of stuff that you can a lot of customization in this game uh it's customization that costs you money but that's okay and you get uh, titles 
and emblems and all that kind of stuff. A lot of really awesome guys. You can trick yourself out to look the way you want. So that's the customization aspect. But what's the game like? Well, let's find out, shall we? So uh, a lot of different matches. Let's see. 1550. Uh, let's join that one. Is it in-game? I don't know. Servers maximum capacity. So we'll just hit quick join, try and find something that's uh, worth playing. Objective: Eliminate all hostile agents. So here we are dropping into a game. Uh, I'm sticking with the SMG. Get a little lag at the beginning, but that's okay. Just some loading lag. Should clear up a bit. There we go. Uh, now, I'm hoping to redeem myself from all that syndicate play. And so far, I have not redeemed myself from my terrible FPSing. Uh, not a super good uh, FPSer, I'm, I'm just gonna say. I don't have a lot of practice. I kinda go in and out with my FPSing. So, this is just a standard, I think this is just deathmatch. Uh, so, yeah, so just pretty standard uh, gameplay rounds. Uh, this is deathmatch, they have de team deathmatch, they have capture the flag, uh, king of the hill, uh, assault, you know, kind of stuff. Nothing crazy. But, they got a lot of different, oh god. Ugh, not very good. So this is pretty classic uh, gameplay types. And a couple of different maps. So you're very standard shooter stuff. But with the cyberpunk theme. So uh, one of the things you have is I got this little visor here. So I can see around corners. I can see where my enemies are. It helps me play in a little tactics in the team-based stuff. So I can be a little more tactical with my teams. Uh, there are also different abilities. Different abilities you can pick up along the way. Uh, there's a, a cloak I could buy at a certain level. Uh, different kinds of grenades. Speaking of grenades... Bam. The grenades are not super overpowered, which I like. Uh, I don't know if they're not if they're powerful enough quite, but they aren't like crazy. It's not like you, you toss a grenade over a wall and get seven kills or anything. Ugh. Spray and pray. That is not the way to do it. So, as you can see, it feels very standard shooter stuff with a little cyberpunk e element. Uh, and you do gain the CP. Uh, it's easier to gain CP, I think, in the the team-based stuff. But I could, when I use my CP, I can buy different weapons, including the giant mech. I don't imagine we're going to see too many giant mechs walking around in just a standard deathmatch. But uh, it's cool. Here's something. People behind me. Oh, that's a gunshot. Right, so I was a lot more cautious. I don't play a lot of just free for all death matches. A lot of dead bodies around. Very scared. I hear my own footsteps. Oh, fall damage. Switch to the SMG. I like the SMG a little more. So I've been, I've been playing this for uh, a little while, a couple of days now, uh, and so far, I mean, it, don't let my my terrible skills fool you. The shooting is actually very tight. It feels feels I a lot of free to play FPSs. Uh, they're a little loose with their controls. I think they're not. They don't focus too much on it. This feels very. I mean, if you. If you played a, a Counter Strike or a Call of Duty or any of the any of the such big franchises, you will understand the controls. It's it'll feel exactly like it would. Uh, jumps in the right button, sprint, crouch, all of it right button. Uh, the controls are customizable uh, as much as as most shooters, you know. So it, it feels like a very tight shooter. These guys definitely know how to handle the shooting mechanics. So. 
and I you just need a little skill, which is something I'm clearly lacking. Clearly not skill is not something I I carry around with me. Reload. Wait in the corner, wait for dying. Ooh, I can't believe I survived that. I'm doing pretty well right now. As I said that, that means I'm going to die. Ah. Oh, nice shot. So, I got a, a bit of CP on me, so let's see if I can't... Some combat points. I think it stands for combat points. Let's see if I can't buy something. As soon as I stop dying! I have to find one of the dispensers. I think I know where one is. Depends on where I spawn. Let's see if we can't find one. Uh, but yeah, there's a number of maps on this. Ugh. Number of different maps that you can you can run around in. Uh, and gameplay types, so you're not going to get bored. Nothing crazy. No crazy gameplay modes. Uh, just standard shooter stuff. It's, overall, I mean, ugh, killed by a shotgun. Uh, that's, that's one of the things. It's uh, weapons... One of the few critiques is trying to figure out what weapon I want to use, like what the SMG... The, the weapons look a little similar in the marketplace and stuff, and the customization, so it's kind of hard sometimes to understand what you're you're picking. Uh, so, But uh, once you kind of figure things out, it's not that hard, you know, because the different rifles and stuff all look the same. It's just the receiver. Leave me alone, I just want to use this thing. So this is the dispenser of thingamabobber, where I can use my CP to pick up things like a flamethrower. Now I'm going to die quickly. I'm not going to get a lot of use out of this. Trying to stab me? I'll set you on fire! Yeah! That's what you get. Don't you try and stab me, son. Yo, dog, I heard you like stabbing people, so I set you on fire! So, yeah, it's kind of a cool weapon. Ugh. Oh, out of ammo. Needed to reload. So, yeah, uh, flamethrower fun. This guy's got what looks like a a sniper. No, it's a combat rifle, but it's got a long, a long, long barrel like a sniper rifle, which is something you can do. I could take this SMG. I don't think actually, I don't think I could take the SMG, but I could take the standard sort of combat rifle. Uh, the the. I could take the the like that kind of a rifle, put a really long barrel on it and a nice scope, or I could take uh, uh, the sort of. Uh, the single shot rifle, which I was messing around with yesterday, uh, shorten up the barrel, add just uh, red dot sight uh, if I wanted to, you know, and kind of build a weapon that y you kind of fits the way you like to play. Like I've built right now, a weapon that's all about throwing bullets away and not hitting anything. Because clearly that's how I like to play. <laughs> I should use a shotgun, but I haven't unlocked it yet, I don't think. Plus, it's gonna cost me money. So, but I I do really think that this they definitely have something going here. It's 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 fun, it's fast paced, very easy to get into. Uh, you can spend real money if you want, but you don't have to. But it does feel like because the leveling's a little slow because they I guess they want to keep you around. They don't want you to hit max level uh, right away, and the. The points you get from unlocking, uh, from just playing, the, the, the ZP or whatever it is, uh, is not a lot. They don't give you a ton. They give you enough. So basically, if you... Three One round, you make about 150. Depends on, you know, scores and stuff. But you make enough to unlock a, a piece for, like, a new receiver or barrel or something like that for a day. So... So you, you don't don't expect to unless you're spending a lot of actual cash. Don't expect to unlock all this stuff all the time for forever. But renting it for a day or you know every day renting it 
I could see myself doing that. Uh, it is a little kind of like, I, like, I don't know if I want to spend my points. But when it's only like 150 points, it's not... I didn't, I didn't feel bad about um, that. I feel bad that I just belched uh, in the middle of this. Uh, sorry about that. Drank a lot of soda. I, just, I had a dry throat, so I decided to make it worse by drinking a lot of soda. I'm going to chase this guy, and while doing this, completely tunnel vision and get shot in the back. Oh, and that's the round. Third place! What is wrong with everyone else on this game? That does not make sense at all. I am the greatest of the eight people that we're playing. So standard game, like deathmatch is eight. The others are eight on eight. Uh, let's see if maybe we can't find a, another score. See, you can tally up and get my experience points. And I earn about 132 GP for that, which I can then spend on different things. So that's cool. Well, I couldn't find any other games that kept throwing at me deathmatch, but deathmatch is fine. Uh, I got third place last time for some strange reason. So this is another one of the uh, the maps. It's kind of Cyberpunk Tokyo. Uh, visually, I, I, I like the, the aesthetic that they're trying to go with. It's, uh, it's good. Uh, the graphics-wise, it's pretty nice. It's not crazy good, but then my, my settings aren't super high at the moment. So my computer is not super good, so they're just kind of mass settings right now. I'm about, I think I set everything to medium. Just as a, to, ow, proximity mine. They have those. Uh, they also have, like, different types of grenades, like an acidy grenade that I get hit with sometimes. Uh, still in the process of unlocking things. People are going crazy by uh, unlocking them. If I were a better player, I would have been able to take out, like, both those guys. There we go. Sometimes I wish I were better at games. But that involves playing them, you know, consistently and not dropping them after a week. That's kind of the problem. I'll do my review, like, I review video games uh, for no money obviously uh and and after a week i stopped playing do my review bam i know this map a little better than the other one i was playing on ah, ah, ah. bam spray and pray up in here uh one of the interesting things is obviously you get uh points the the combat points for killing people and stuff and if you kill a lot of people in a row, you start to gain high threat, so you suddenly start worth more. Like, if somebody's uh, on, uh, you know, a killing spree, you get more points for killing them. Iron sights, iron sights, dumb ass. Use your iron sights. Ugh, oh, finally someone killed me. I was about to wonder. This is almost, I'm in first place right now. This is almost making me look like I know what I'm doing, which is ridiculous if, if, if you've watched any of my other uh, shoots. Ugh. So, let's see. Not doing too terribly right now. Six and two, but that's gonna change. That was just a really hot streak. I'm probably not going to get kills for a couple of deaths. Uh, so. Let's see. So as you can see, a nice variety of levels. They had that hangar. They, get, they had the hangar that we were just in, uh, or whatever that place was with a bunch of mech uh, factory, whatever it was. And then this is sort of like a Chinese city streets. Uh, it seems, it does feel kind of like not the not crazy like original like it feels very much like if you played cyberpunk type games like you played deus ex it's certainly very similar to the deus ex sort of theme uh and uh, and other cyberpunk games the deus ex isn't the only one uh but you know kind of traditional themes 
Official, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't break the mold, but it's it's really good, especially for a game that's completely free. Well, that was this thing that we passed up. Uh, you can buy uh, weapons and all that stuff, but you can also just pick up weapons off the ground. Like if I this guy over here, I'm going to die, and he can steal my weapon from me. Yeah, like these two guys, after they kill each other, and I pick up, and I pick off the winner, I could just. I could just pick up this gun, whichever one of these. Shotgun. Look at that. I haven't used a shotgun before, so I don't know. Let's let's buy some health. There we go. Health refilled. Not that it's gonna help me much. Especially since I'm carrying a friggin' shotgun. Uh Oh, I like the shotgun. I uh, now have high threat, which I think means that everyone's going to try and gun for me. Oh, proximity mine. Ugh, douche. Dropped my, dropped my shotgun. I like that shotgun. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, not all the attachments are available for all the weapons. Like, I can't... I can't put a two-foot-long barrel on a uh, on a shotgun or anything, because I noticed that that some of the stuff I could put on my SMG that I'm using are different from the stuff I can put on my rifle. But it's it's all relative. It it's really nice that it lets you kind of build the weapon that kind of fits your style. They have uh, machine guns, obviously, uh, light machine gun thingies, sniper rifles. Uh, Why did that guy? How does he have the still? Ha oh, I'm terrible at this video game. <laughs> Ugh. I have a lot of CP. I'm going to find. We got a couple of minutes left. I'm gonna see about getting a mech, and of course, being stupid and losing it, because because you don't just get it right away. You have to um, buy it. Then you have to clear space to drop it. Ah. No, I'm trying to drop. Oh, dick. See, that's a, you got to find a spot for it. You got to drop in the open. Maybe I can, f if I can find my body, maybe I can pick that up, possibly. But yeah, again, I, I'm dead though. So if I can't pick that up, then that's wasted seat. Oh, come on! I want to show people the mech. Somebody steal my corpse. Yeah, I, I doubt it's still there. Nobody's nobody's using a mech. It's 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 really stupid to use a mech. It, it's team deathmatch. There's no point to it. awareness don't get tunnel vision yeah it's not there anymore that was lucky see I got an extra hundred points for killing that guy because he's high threat my threats going up yeah the more threat more points oh nice Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get... Oh! A couple more kills, I might be able to get a mech again. I just... I would like to show it off. It's it's really stupid to use it here. But um, the mechs are pretty tough. 
running around as a mech. It's one minute till expel. One minute. Another couple of kills. Ugh. Come on. Just let me kill you so I can get a mech. In the last 30 seconds of the round would be completely useless. So, let's respawn. I miss that shotgun now. How am I second place? How? How is that even possible? Apparently I can do emotes, but I don't know how to emote. I haven't bought any emotes. You have to, those are something you have to buy. Yeah, but second place. Oh, that's crazy. 17 kills, 11 deaths. I have like more deaths than anybody. But hey, who else? Anyways, that's that's kind of that is Blacklight Retribution. It's a lot of fun. If you get your hands on a, a beta key, I would totally suggest you pick it up or wait for it to go live uh, with the live version, which is completely free to play. So if you haven't experienced a free to play uh, FPS, maybe this one's the one you know to check out. Maybe you're you're a little tired of Counter Strike or. Want to take a break from Battlefield 3? Maybe try this one for a chance.